the last week of school, Columbus Catholic School families, we've made it. There's a collective sigh of relief, I'm sure, among all of us that we've reached the end of the 1920 school year. It's been a difficult process, but there are a lot of success stories that went along with it at all of our four schools. Hi boys and girls. As you can see, the hallways are bare and the classrooms are empty and we miss you terribly. But already the teachers and I are working really hard to prepare for the next school year when we will be able to see you once again and hear your laughter and hear all your stories. We miss you, but we want you to have a great summer and we can't wait to see you soon. Well, hello students. I sure miss you. I miss your smile. I miss uh, the things that you say and do. And I miss having uh, I, all the activities that we do here at school. I look forward to seeing you in person at school this coming year and I really hope that uh, we can pray together in person and celebrate Mass together too. God's blessings everyone. So today we're just here at school missing you like every day but we have so much hope for the future. That's one of the great things about our Catholic education is that we always have hope for the future. And we have such exciting things in store. We are already planning for next year. We're working to get our school building ready. We're cleaning, sanitizing, making some neat changes for the next school year. And we're just so excited to have you back. I don't know what next year will look like, but we know one thing. Together we'll get through, together we'll be fine, and we will be together again soon. Alrighty, well good morning. I'm Father Joe at St. Isidore's Church. Um, I'm as frustrated as everybody else being locked in this room and can't visit the nursing homes, can't visit my sister in the nursing home, can't go to the hospitals, can't visit the Alberti in the parish. So we're kind of like a, a person without a mission or a purpose. But we have a great future ahead of us. There is light at the end of the tunnel and things will get better. And so we just have to hang in there. For that reason, I like to sing this song. New hope. New hope is what we have been given by the Lord. New hope, new hope is what we have been given by the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Lord. Alleluia, 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 Lord. A new what we have been given by the Lord. A new life, a new life, is what we have been given by the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Lord. Alleluia, 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 Lord. Because Jesus came and lived among us and gave us a whole new reason for live. Someday, like St. Paul, we'll look back on crises like this or all the trials we face in this life, and we will say as he did, these are nothing compared to the glory that God has revealed. And that's why during the Easter season, we have reason to be hopeful and full of joy. And when that day comes, you know what we'll all be doing. We'll be walking and leaping and praising God. Walking and leaping and praising God, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So in these difficult days, just make sure you go around walking and leaping, and one day things will be much better. Hello students of St. Anthony's School, this is Mrs. Sokol, just letting you know that she misses you a whole lot. Never in a hundred years did she think that we would be ending the school year this way. But no worries, boys and girls. We've been working really hard. Mr. Green, Mrs. Parker, Mrs. Duran, Mrs. Gasper, Mrs. Fold, all of the teachers to get ready, boys and girls, for next year. We have lots of fun things planned, and there's some things that you are going to notice the difference as soon as you walk up the steps in the fall. Mrs. Sokol is most looking forward to being able to walk down the hallway and see the excitement of your learning in your classrooms. It's so rewarding for me to see you engaged in your learning and excited to tell your teachers what you know. The thing I look most forward to, boys and girls, is a day that we will be able to pray together. 
Be assured of our prayers for you. The teachers and I have been praying for you every single day. This has been really difficult for all of us, but we're all going to be better because of it. We're St. Anthony's Angels, and we are Strong Boys and Girls. Have a great summer, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Hey, St. Anthony's School, students, families, teachers, you realize that this was probably our last week of school if we didn't have all this stuff happening. So I'm going to give you a little pep talk that I usually give when you are ready to leave for the summer. Always remember, you are St. Anthony students. People know who you are. And as a result, you always want to be sure that uh, you conduct yourselves as St. Anthony students. I just want to let you know that you were missed. I missed First Communion when we normally do it and all those kind of things. But the great thing about this year is it's a time to remember that this school is strong. We have a lot of great, wonderful teachers, great, wonderful principal, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next fall. It just reminds me of what a gift you guys are. What a wonderful, great school we have here at St. Anthony's, and how blessed I am to be the pastor of you guys. And hopefully in August, things will be returning to somewhat normal. But in the end, uh, all the same, you're still my students, and continue to learn about your faith, continue to be uh, people who are interested in learning, learning about your faith, learning about the world around you, and we pray that you have a very restful and safe summer, and we hope to see you in August. There's no doubt that there were some bumps along the road, but boy, it sure seemed like things went really well here the last four or five weeks, and so we're really thankful for that. The purpose of this message is really to talk about the idea of moving forward toward next year, to not necessarily be looking back, but looking forward. What I want you to understand is that all of our schools, all four of our schools are going to be doing everything that we can to make sure that your students are going to be able to be in our buildings to get instruction. And what that means is whatever the DHMs are that are provided by, whether it be the East Central Health District uh, or whoever it might be, or the governor, that we are going to find ways to still have students in our building. Okay? So we're going to be flexible enough to try to meet all of the different restrictions or requirements that come our way. But the most important thing is, is that we're going to be really wanting to put our, the students in the building. It's important because in our buildings, we educate the whole person. We educate the mind, the body, and the soul. And as, a school, as schools that really pride themselves on our Catholic identity and having that connection with each other and the faith development that happens within our schools, we need to be together. We're at our best when we are together. So we're gonna really try to make sure that that happens because we want to have all of that personal contact with the students, with the teachers, everybody working together as a real Bubba's Catholic School family to ensure that we're getting the most out of that Catholic education. I hope that you've had a chance that during this pause, you know, it's been a, a time to reevaluate things, reboot, hopefully maybe re-energize as we head toward the new school year of the 2021 school year. The, my hope is that as we had that chance to reflect on it, that we're going to turn out something that's going to be even greater. To create something that was really good to even make it even better. And that's our hope for our Columbus Catholic Schools. We hope that you will continue to support our churches, our Catholic schools. I really believe that we support what we value, and I really hope that you value what happens in our, in our schools because it's a real awesome product. So, enjoy the summer. We'll see you in the fall. Take care.